All that be buzzing. If you're about 45 or older, you probably remember hearing during the 1970s about how killer bees were making their way north and would be taking over the United States by the 1990s. It was actually quite a scare. There were numerous documentaries filmed about it and several movies were produced, most notably the 1978 Irwin Allen film, The Swarm. Obviously, the killer bee menace never destroyed America. So why were people so scared of these killer bees? And have they even lived up to the name? To begin with, the term killer bee is actually just a colloquialism for a new type of bee that was bred by Brazilian biologist Warwick Kerr in the 1950s. Kerr crossed European bees with East African bees to create a new Africanized hybrid that would create more honey. But these bees were quickly found to be difficult to control. They escaped from their controlled environments in 1956 and quickly spread across Brazil. Within a few short years, the Africanized bees had spread through much of Latin America, especially the tropical and subtropical zones. The Africanized bees soon proved to be much more aggressive than normal bees and they had a unique ability to migrate long distances. Wherever the Africanized bees went, they often replaced the normal bee populations. But have they earned a reputation as killer bees? The sting of an Africanized bee is no more toxic than that of a normal bee. But Africanized bees are more aggressive, attack in swarms, and have been known to chase people for nearly a mile. It is believed that at least 1,000 people have been killed by Africanized bees worldwide since the 1950s, which isn't that many when you put it into perspective. By contrast, over 700,000 people are killed each year by mosquitoes, and about 100 are killed by elephants. Still, you certainly don't want to get attacked by Africanized bees. The elderly and the sick tend to have the highest fatality rates from killer bee attacks, as well as apiaris, professional beekeepers. Experts say that the biggest threat Africanized bees pose to America is in apiculture. The killer bee's European lineage has allowed them to migrate farther north than a true East African bee would be able to do. But the long winters of the Midwest, Northwest, and Northeast appear to be an effective barrier. It looks like all the doomsday predictions about a killer bee invasion of the United States will never happen. I guess that means the swarm too won't be hitting theaters anytime soon. Here are some questions to test your understanding. Please drop your answers in the comment section and share the post. Question one, if the Africanized bees had never been bred with European bees, how likely would they have been able to survive in cold Northern US states? Question two, if Africanized bees only attacked in single swarms instead of multiple waves, how many fatalities would they have caused globally by now? Question three, if a bee sting from an Africanized bee were more toxic than a normal bee's, how would that change the number of fatalities linked to them?